inspirational chat, a platform where we interact with young leaders who have made an impact in the life of others to tell us how they began their journey, how far it has been with them, and how far they want to go. My guest today is a Ghanaian radio personality, an MC and also a marketing guru. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Kojo Buna. Kiki, 
be somebody I looked up to when I was growing up and told me I had form said so that was where I wanted to be. I, I didn't even wish to be like Kavana Ebwa anywhere. He's he's a guru. So I had the opportunity to sit on an entertainment show one of the Saturdays, which was hosted by then uh, I think it was Chen Chen, you know, about to power of those guys. Uh, I had the opportunity, that's when everything started. So after my national service days, one of the managers at me said he wanted to help me. I'm like, okay, fine. So we drove to his friends and I'm not gonna mention the station. And then the friend gave us some vibes, he's gonna help me and all that too. We we're driving around and we saw class of M's billboard. And I'm like, gosh, let's go here. So we went to class of M. Never mentioned this story anywhere. When we went to class FM, the lady at the reception asked me, What are you here to see? And I said, I'm here to see your manager. Do you have an appointment? I said, Yes, but I lied. I didn't have any appointment. So she picked up the phone and called the then CEO, then I came to your phone. And then I was surprised. Like, you started yeah, to know. I know, I know you. Uh, yeah. He used to work at Adam FM. Yeah, he's a great man, yeah. and I'll be forever grateful to him. Wherever you are, sir, I really appreciate the opportunity you gave to me. So then I took the phone, and the lady was like, sir, somebody's here to see you. So he was surprised on the phone at the other end. So I just took the, man, the phone from the lady, and I like, said, have this program for you. It's going to sell on your station. So okay, give me some few minutes. So a so few minutes, they invited us. Also my boss then, Mr. Michael Tay, I appreciate you. I cherish you and I do you so much, sir. So Mr. Michael Tay drove me around. So Mr. Tay, we climbed the stairs and I was like, why are you going to tell the man? I said, I really think you bank. So I just entered the washroom. And I said a prayer, God, let your will be done. That's what I remember, I said. Wow. I just flashed and I came out. So I went to sit in front of the man. And he was like, do you have a demo? And he was like, I have a demo with me. So I had a demo on CD, I gave the CD to the man. We were playing the demo whilst coming in the car. He kept it in the laptop, clicked on play, and he didn't play. That's it, I bring for one hour. So the, the, the demo didn't play, and good for me, I had it on my phone, like I sent it to somebody in Chumbel. So I just went back for it and I played it to him. I listened to it and said, you know what, this is the voice I need. Tomorrow bring your CD, and that's what, that's how it began. So I started with class FM for professional radio, mm -hmm. but then I had short spell with Radio Invest, who was on campus mm -hmm. and on vacation. Austin Woods, yes, great guy. I can make the story that I forget in Austin. Austin, mm -hmm. Austin in Kumasi, Austin gave me the opportunity at Lab FM. I had a short stay with Lab FM. It was a great one. Austin Woods, the NGO, the guy in KDT versus Makola, the yeah, lawyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, NGO was yeah. great. And KT, KT too. Is a great actor to give me the opportunity. I did something short with wife and Kumasi too before coming to start professional radio with Class FM. So I joined Class FM somewhere around, I think 2015, the latter part of 2016. I think one of these days that's when I joined Class FM. And when I joined Class, I was with this one lamp thing. Yeah, I, had, I had to do some bit of intention for some time. So I was under this one, this one to be true or training and uh, how to build your confidence and everything. So I had the opportunity after doing intention for like three months. This one gave me a 10 minute segment on the country on class segment where I'll come in and read the country news and we talk about the country music and all that. I didn't love country music. I'm not a rich man. Country music is for rich men. I'm not a rich man. For old men. No, it's for rich men. Rich men. Yeah, it's for rich men. I didn't love country, but then he made me fall in love with country. So I did it for some time, and the Nana PNT once again gave me the opportunity to start a show. I started at 12 midnight. What show was that? I was just playing, so it was a request show. It was all these songs. Yeah, the request, songs. people call in and they yeah, request songs. Song. Song. Okay. So 12 midnight, mm -hmm. that's when I started. And then I do the 12 midnight show all the way to like 4 a.m. And I hand over to Kami, who was there, who still there the morning devotion show. Mm -hmm. So I get to the studio at 9 p.m. I was coming from Tema, drop out at Accra Mall, and then walk to Roman Ridge because no pacha. I ended up sleeping at the studio because I went in there to bring Papa and I come back and pick the truck back to Tema. And it continued for some time till I was, 
I think Natalia was not feeling too well, and then uh, she didn't come to work. She was doing the, uh, the late night show, which was 10 p.m. to 12. So I sat in for her, and I did a good job. So sometimes when she doesn't come, she'll make me sit in for her. And she was hosting the entertainment show on Saturday, 3 to 5 to. When she doesn't come, she'll call me, and I go and sit in for her. And it continued like that till she was moved to the mid-morning, and I got the opportunity to do the late night show. Starting. So I was doing the late night show, doing the late night show at Class FM, and I think one time I had a call from Star FM that I should come over for a meeting. I didn't know you had a call from Star FM. Star FM. Yeah, Star FM. Not the manager, not the yeah. CEO. No, no, not the CEO. I think it was DJ Blow, who was then the program yeah, manager, yeah, yeah. who called me okay. that I should come for a meeting. Oh. So I came over to Star FM and they told me they, they want to put me on board to do the evening show, which was hosted by Jermaine Jogmoff. And I was super excited about it because John is somebody I look up to. And I think some years ago I told John that I can't wait to fill his shoes. And we made a funny joke about Barcelona going to buy Coutinho while Zabi was there to sit on the bench and eventually like Coutinho will uh, fall in place when Zabi leaves the team. And we created jokes like that. So I was super excited when I had the opportunity to join the staff. Okay, so you took um, the Jimmy shoe drop off. I didn't take the didn't shoe. Take. I don't say I took the shoe. <laughs> but then uh, there was a switch. I think okay. Giovanni left Star. So, so there was John a switch. Yeah, there was a switch. Still. They had to bring John to Ben Bond and we were supposed to buy KOD mm -hmm. and push KOD to the drive. And then I had the opportunity to do the evening show, which I think was a great one for me. So how exciting and challenging has your legal career been? Well, I started. Um, I think there's not been much challenge. It's been super exciting because now I'm not doing a 10 p.m. show. We've been there for three, two. No, I three. think second year. Second, second year. year I started okay. um, now, and so far, so good. I think if we're not doing a good job, I'm sure they would have taken the mm -hmm. offer mm -hmm. by now. But then we're doing a good job, and the job is seeing it. They are telling us people are listening. So your show started from. It started from seven to ten, but now it's been a switch where now I start from eight p.m. You know, it's election year. Okay. We need to talk about politics and all that. So now we start from eight p.m. to ten p.m. Two hours of solid evening show. I yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, when people are, are done with work, they don't want to listen to too much noise to and chat with people. No, no. They don't want to listen to too much talk. So I want you to be down the right way. You drive in or you home, you're about to sleep, you need to think about the next move and the best man to listen to. Who is your favorite comedian personality? Bolaria. Bolaria. No, everybody knows. Why? But when, when I was in school, they used to call me Bolaria because I have a big yeah. name. <laughs> but with names are very powerful. I'm sure they yeah. didn't know. So they used to call me Bolaria back then in school. And I'll be, yeah, I'm going to pull out every Wednesday when he's done, he introduced me as a next man to take over the seat. Uh, any plans to go into television? No, I have plans of doing TV now. I think I, I'm a radio guy, I love being on radio. It's, it's, it's everything for me, radio for me. I don't know what, what happened, but right now it's radio, I love radio. Mm -hmm. I love radio, I love radio. Um, what is your opinion? of the future of media that's going to I think social media has now given us a tight competition when it comes to traditional media. And if you can, if you can see, most of the traditional media folks are even moving to the social media platform. Our competition now has got to do with social media because you don't need to listen to the radio to know what the president is saying. If you just go on YouTube, Facebook, go on. Instagram or go on Twitter, you're going to see the president post the statement. Gone were the days where you have to listen to the radio before you get the information. And gone were the days you have to listen to the radio before you hear new music. Now, there's, there's Apple Music where there's Spotify. There are so many platforms where the musicians could be our songs. So you don't need to listen to radio before you 
Yes, that's all. So I think the competition is tight now, but then hey, we're still going to do our best. Now, let's come to your corporate life. Um, in addition to your career in media and show business, you are part of the team who manages uh, manage or run do, do foods. Okay, so, um, so it's no one and get involved with Okay, so I'll say I've always been a corporate guy, even was I started doing radio. I think I went to University of Ghana studying economics and all that so you know how parents are you need to use your certificate and all that. And I'm sure millions of or hundreds of my brothers and sisters on on radio and TV I also have it inside how so they're doing. So I've had opportunity to work with a consultancy firm and I'm working with PIC. So PIC is Peak Investment Capital. So PIC owns Pinkberry Ghana, owns uh, Doman Foods, owns IC Cap, and I reach in Rage And we be adding a lot of funds to our portfolios. So you are the manager. I'm not the manager, I handle marketing and communication marketing. For, for the organization. And I think it's been exciting so far. So I go to work like everybody goes to work like 8 to 5. When I finish, then I drive again. I come and sit on the radio and talk to the team. How do you manage your enter um, entertainment and corporate career? It's not been easy because waking up as early as 5 30 a.m., you know how I grab traffic is get to the office at 8 and stay in the office, close at 5, get to the studio at 7 p.m., and come back home always around 11 p.m. It's not been an easy one, but I, I believe if it was easy, everybody else would have done it. And uh, it's not going to be like this forever. We just need to go through the mill, we need to climb the stairs before we get up there. So I'm enjoying it so now, but then when it comes to my personal life, I think it's taking a toll on my social life. Because I don't get a chance to go out, go to the parties, go to the clubs and sit with friends because I'm always tired. I work one day to Saturday, so I'm always tired. The, the least chance that I get is on Sunday after church, and I just want to sleep after church. Does anyone play a role? Um, do you have a mentor? Yeah, I do have a mentor. I have mentors in every aspect of my life. I, I keep telling people, mentorship is very key, and it's something that the majority of us are not paying attention to. I have, when it comes to the media space, my mentor is Bola, I talk to Bola, I talk to KKD. And then when it comes to the MC page, there's just one, he's not on radio, he's on TV, Jerry Adjolo. But he does all the big shows in the MC. country. MC Jerry. <laughs> Jerry has been very helpful, and my brother, my team, my son. And hey, when it comes to the corporate side too, there's this man we call Kabana Ewa, great guy, young man, and hey, Richard Craig, CEO of uh, Craig Credit and Craig Angels, amazing guys. So I do have mentors in all my aspects of life and I look up to my father too when it comes to life experiences and life issues. My father is my great woman, Mr. Samson, when I began a cocoa board, yes. Now let's, let's talk about your life. Um, are you married? I'm not married, man. I'm still looking for my missing ring. I keep telling the people that, hey, my missing ring. The ring is gone. Whoever has my ring should bring it. <laughs> but are you dating Z lady? That's a tough question. <laughs> you ask me that I'm the papa. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting I have I have I have I'm not I'm not too single. Mm -hmm. I have somebody. There's a lady. Yeah, there's there's somebody. There's somebody. There's somebody. I'm sure she's my you my mentioning her name. No no no. She's watching right now, she knows herself. <laughs> And um, how many um, are you in, in, in the family? Okay, so my, my parents gave birth to three strong boys, and I happen to be the eldest. Mm -hmm. my, my other brother, Emmanuel Adomako, and Ivan's, I Kumase. Emmanuel is working with the enterprise, and Ivan is in final year in King University. Are you parenting? No, my parents are in Kumase, they're looking for gold in Osego. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they sent me to Accra to come So you are a same room boy? Yeah, I'm from Osaka. Okay, Kumasi. Yeah, I'm a Kumasi boy. You have a Kumasi, you have a Kumasi. I'm a Kumasi boy. Okay. Um, my final question. Um, what is your advice to the young men who want to pursue media in, in their career? 
Okay, so listen. Everybody has a diamond, right? God has given everybody a diamond. All you need to do is sit down, look in Wally, spot your diamond, polish it, and you're going to enjoy about all the things that are going to come around it are going to be subject. But what is very key is patience. Patience is the greatest virtue a lot of us find it difficult having. But if you have patience, you are persistent and don't stop learning. Don't stop learning. Keep learning, keep learning, be patient and be persistent. And trust me, the door is going to open for you one day, just a little second, and you are close to your dream. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much, my brother, my great dad. Thank you very much.